question of the week. If you could be the child of a celebrity okay. for a day, which child would you be? If I could be the child of any celebrity, it would probably be Courtney Brown. Uh, would probably be my number one choice. If I had to pick a second one, it would probably be um, Charles Logan. Cool. Celebrity's kid. What celebrity's kid would you be? Okay, nice job. I'd be Beyonce's child. And now for an interview with Miss Diaz. I'm Maddie. And I'm Lily. And today we're interviewing. Hi, I'm Miss Diaz. I teach Minnesota Studies. Um, our first question is, what is your favorite part of teaching? I like that every day is a new start, every quarter is a new start, and every year is a nice new start after the summer. Good advice. Mm -hmm. How many students have you sent to State History Day from Ramsey? I think it's been... Okay, over three years, with teams and everything, probably 10 to 12. Why did you choose to teach Minnesota Studies? I think Minnesota Studies is good for sixth grade, mm -hmm. because they see names they recognize and places they recognize. It's kind of familiar. What brand of toothpaste do you use? Colgate. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Have you taught anywhere else besides Ramsey? I did. I started at a parochial school, a really small school, um, and then I taught in Central America for a couple years. That's really cool. Would you rather clean out your refrigerator with your tongue or eat all the food out of a trash can? If I have to pick, I'm going to go with the trash can. I would definitely clean out my refrigerator yeah, with me my too. tongue. <laughs> I don't think it's that dirty. But If you had a pet unicorn, what would you name it? I'm going to call my unicorn Wilson. <laughs> Good name for you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Back to you, anchors. Those are some pretty nice answers, Miss Diaz. And now for the Rams update with Dylan and Cassie. This week, we're talking about sports, Spirit Week, and Pride Day, NJHS, and, and Web. Spring sports are starting. We had our first games this week. There's track, badminton, and baseball. Good luck, athletes! Pride Day is coming up April 29th. Show your support by wearing rainbows. Pride Day is April 29th. LGBTQIA plus stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and transsexual, questioning, intersex, well, <laughs> and asexual. Pride Day is a day used to support the LGBT community and to give awareness for the struggles they've gone through and also make the non-out people feel more comfortable in their environment. Um, Spirit Week is coming up. Let's go to Charm and Cassie for the details. Hey Ramsey, Spirit Week is coming up the first week of May and we want you to participate. Monday, Pajama Day, wear your favorite pajamas. Tuesday is Color Day, so each grade will wear a different color to represent their spirit. Wednesday, Sports Day, wear your favorite sporty clothes. Thursday is Crazy Hat Slash Hair Day, and there will be a competition, so sign up the day before. Friday, Formal Day, the last dance of the year, dress to impress. See, See you there, there Ramsey. Ramsey. Hey Dylan, I heard you got into NJHS. I sure did. The induction was on Thursday. It was great. I wish we could see some footage. We can. Let's go. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each person individuality. It is that Citizenship is working together with our neighbors to create a strong and attentive community. Just another face in the hall. See you next time, Ramsey! Thanks, Dylan and Cassie. Now for the Ramsey Challenge. Cotton balls! Welcome to this week's Ramsey Challenge. Today, we're going to put some Vaseline on four individuals' noses, and they're going to try and get as many cotton balls 
from this bowl into the bowl on the side as they can in one minute. Good luck to our competitors. Are you ready? Ready. No. On your mark. And now in round two, sixth grade versus eighth grade. On your mark, get set, go! Who's it? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, eight. Tied with Fontana. Two, four, six. Oh, I got that. We have a tie for first and a tie for third. I'm just kidding. Good. All right, championship round: teachers versus eighth grade. We'll see you again next week. Awesome job, Ben. Go eighth graders. And now for Behind the Beard with One. Mr. Howe. Welcome to the new life of spring. Now that spring is sprung, think about how you're going to improve yourself and change over to the new year. Nice advice, Mr. Hagen. And now for other stuff going on in our school. Yeah. Hey, Ramsey, Spirit Week is coming up in the first week of May. Uh, no. Don't do it! Spider-Man! 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 I don't know. Are uh, there options? <laughs> yeah, can you give us options? All of the celebrities. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. wait what is and baseball. Hit! No! <laughs> Too much? I don't... I'm not going to give you a hint, probably. Alright. <laughs> That's your face all the time. Don't lie. <laughs> okay, now we're Any celebrity, who would it be? Are you asking me? Mm-hmm. Oh, me. 